treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world, literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking care of us. Carver joined the Templars, just as he said he would. He didn't turn in the champion, at least. Three years later, the Kunari still hadn't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I can't help it if I make an impression. Apparently not. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued, behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. The Kunari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh... You have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. I'm always willing to assist. 
Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Stepping down is looking more and more appealing. All are forbidden, except you. Yes? Last we met, I did not know your name. Did not care to. You have changed your fortune over the years. The Kunari have not. I offer a courtesy, Hawk. Someone has stolen what he thinks is the formula for Gatlock. You will want to hunt him. Excuse me, but this sounds like quite the feat. It was allowed. A stolen formula was a decoy. Sarkamek, a poison gas, not explosives. A small amount is dangerous enough to your kind, but if made in quantity, perhaps by someone intending to sell it. That merchant, Javaris. Would he be cautious? Or would he assume success and make enough to threaten a district? A courtesy hawk. You will want to hunt him. So, how dangerous does this fake mixture become? It is not a threat to Kunari. For your kind, it is as dangerous as those who breathe it. No riddles, please. The gas kills. But first, it turns allies against their own in blind rage. So, the greater the skill of those sent against us, the more dangerous they become to their own people. And you thought this was a good idea? It is no longer our problem. So you just leave the decoy laying around? We did not make it easy. Three Kunari died defending it. Enough to impart a sense of worth. If the real formula were at risk, the Kuhn would demand that we protect it to the last of us. I barely spoke to you three years ago. Why give me this warning? You are capable. But I have yet to decide if you are capable of understanding. Save your streets from this fool dwarf. Then we will talk. Can't say I appreciate being saddled with this mess. Your thief set this in motion, not us. I was tempted to let it come to its expected end. Hana Hadon, Hawk. It will be interesting to see if you die. So, hunting a thief. Asking at the Coterie would be a good bet. You're glaring, Anders. Is there a reason, or is it one of your moods? Your term as captain hasn't been particularly made friendly. I've only turned a handful over to the Templars. Despot. You're selling the assets of Javaris Tintop. We are. Limited districts, limited contracts. Keeps territory clear and separate from the start. He had a meager lot, but he skipped with dues outstanding. So up it goes. Sounds like he's made a few friends. Can one of them point me his way? Ask that about anyone else I'd have you thrown out. This one, he owes me too. Javaris left in a hurry. I'd put him at Smuggler's Cut if he's avoiding patrols. It empties at a cave outside town. Tell him I said, don't come back. Javaris doesn't exactly sound like a mastermind at work here.
Way to greet an old friend. You? Granny's garters, she would hire you. I can't buy a break on discount. You know what? Go ahead. Take my hand and pike it back to that sodding elf. I need the rest. What in blazes are you talking about? But you don't know? Then what? You're tracking for the Kunari? Then she did it. That elf got them after me for nothing. Bitch born. The obvious thief was perhaps a bit too obvious. Look, I'm minding business, same old. And out of the blue, some elf tries to kill me. Says she's got the Kunari powder and I'm her cover. I slipped her, hired some bodyguards, and ran for it. And now you're here. Great. So far, all I see is you. Leaving the other person behind is the first step in running away. Sorry if that's inconvenient. Here. Wanna drag Dark into light? I had a man follow her. The elf's in Lowtown. I just wanna get out with my dead guards. Thanks for that. Sounds like you have a long way to go. Hopefully. Right. Got me a rosy future to plan out. Think I'll start by selling some boots. Sounding bunch of... Take a long breath on a short shaft, you blasted dog lord in rotors. I can't fight the damned air. You want to live, stay out. What's going on, Mason? Guard Captain, there's... I can't even describe. On your time, son. Reports of some haze with a stench of rust and throw-up. There was a cloud, then a lingering mist. Anyone caught in the cloud just... Mad. Then the others just wretched themselves dead. All right, keep your post. We'll take it from here. He's a good man. Trust that it's as bad as he says. Let's hope this elf didn't try to make enough powder to sell. Didn't sound like a merchant to me. Let's go. Maker. We need to stop this mist. Find the source.
take comfort in his certainty when this is over. particular brand of crazy. Kanari take my people. My siblings forget their culture, then go to the Kuhn for purpose. We're losing them twice. So I get some help from your people. We'll take the Kanari Thunder, make some accidents, and make them hate it. But this... This is all wrong. Only one thing to do with a mad dog. It can still work. They're hidden in your city. They'll enrage the faithful and make sure the Kunari are blamed. Me, I'm finished. I just need a few more bodies. A few more. <laughs>
Arashok was right and wrong. You'll need to know about this. Go ahead. I have something I should do. No time for distractions, Isabella. I have business here. Well, you can go right ahead. So, I was wrong about our thief. You'll get used to it. They say we were careless with our trap, that this is our fault. But even without the Sarkamek, there would have been death. This elf was determined to lay blame at our feet. Selfishness, want, denial. How do you allow this to continue? If you won't talk straight, then we won't talk. Hold! Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just... festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You turned from me. Do you turn as easily from all this... chaos? My welcome to the city was not so different from yours. And yet you suffer it. It's an opportunity to make a real difference. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. Could you, could not this entire city benefit from that certainty? How else will you know when you have made a real difference? Sorry, I find myself distracted by deny and die. And yet you accept the random violence that plagues this nation. I wonder if the weaker of your citizens would be so close to certainty. Your kind may force our role to change, if the Kuhn demands. She was angry to see her people losing their culture by claiming yours. We accept those who submit to the Kuhn. The weak naturally seek the strong. It doesn't matter. We did not come equipped to indoctrinate. I am here to satisfy a demand you cannot understand. It's taking long enough. It will take as long as needed. No ship is coming. There is no rescue from duty to the Kuhn. I am stuck here. You keep going on about that, but never say anything. Should I argue the wind? Very well. Filth stole from us. Not now, not the Sarkamek. Years ago. A simple act of greed has bound me. We are all denied Parvolin until I alone recover what was lost under my command. That is why this elf and her shadows are unimportant. That is why I do not simply walk from this pustule of a city. Fixing your mess is not the demand of the Kuhn, and you should all be grateful!
Thank you, human, for your service. Leave. He's on the edge. The Viscount should know. Please keep it quiet, sir. The Viscount. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. An accident on purpose, more or less. Right. A mad elf pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. You could send him gold, and he'd complain it was heavy. And it's about to get worse. A shame. There were overtures of civility. Your influence, no doubt. Do I want to hear what happened? <laughs>